Hey kids, hey parents, so glad that you're back with us uh, here for IEM Kids Service Online. And we're really excited about today because today we're celebrating something uh, incredibly special of, of what's getting ready to take place on this is the start of Easter week. And so we're really excited. But I had a question for you. If there was one animal, just one animal that you could ride, what would it be? Would it be a turtle? Or maybe a giraffe? Or maybe a llama? Or what about a pig? Or maybe a camel? Oh, those people look familiar. Well, this might give you a little clue of what we're going to be talking about today. We're talking about Palm Sunday and who rode a specific kind of animal. So we're going to take a look real quick at a video to talk a little bit more about what Palm Sunday is. The Donkey and the King It was Passover time. Jerusalem was filled with people. When Jesus reached the Mount of Olives, a hill overlooking Jerusalem, he told two of his disciples to find a donkey. They found the donkey and put their cloaks on it. Jesus rode on the donkey, fulfilling the Bible verse that says, Here comes your king, Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. Jesus rode the donkey down to Jerusalem. Many people remembered his miracles and joined him. They put cloaks and palm branches on the road before Jesus to honor him. They hoped that Jesus was God's promised savior, so they shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. The whole world is following him, the Pharisees grumbled. Tell them to be quiet, Jesus. Even if everyone stopped shouting, Jesus replied, the stones would still praise me. The Bible app for kids. Download it now. It's free. So kids, parents, make sure you take a look at that Bible app for kids. Um, it's amazing. It's uh, tied right along with the, the YouVersion app that we already use on our Sunday morning services that that pastor uses to put his notes on. It's just an amazing resource uh, for you. It's a, like a journey through the Bible for kids, and it's really awesome. But Hosanna, Hosanna to God in the highest. That's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we do that, we want to offer praise up to him. It talks about how the Pharisees wanted Jesus to get the people to be quiet. But Jesus said, if they're silent, even the rocks will cry out. Well, this is your opportunity that you're not going to let a rock cry out in your place. So go ahead, stand up, and we're going to worship together. <laughs> 